<laughs> now we're live. Yep, now we're live. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, for the first official Drama Llama FPV podcast where we talk shit about everyone, including the hosts uh, and everyone that's involved, whether it be it's regarding FPV, uh, uh, celebrities, uh, the drama that's happening in Puerto Rico. I don't even know where Puerto Rico is or if there is happening stuff happening there, but it's drama. It's nonstop. It's amazing. And... As usual, we're completely unorganized and we don't have all the hosts here, but they will be coming shortly. But how about we introduce some of the hosts that are here already? And as usual, we're completely unorganized and we don't have all the hosts, here, but they will be coming shortly. But how about we introduce some of the hosts that are here already? As usual, we're Are you guys getting feedback? Uh, we, we are because someone's got their audio on from the YouTube channel. Are you guys getting feedback? Uh, we, we are. <laughs> Echo. Hang on, hang on. It could be me. Hang on. Let me get to my other screen. It was me. <laughs> no more feedback. All right. First episode hang ups. All right. Uh, we'll get the. He's going to be live on location from the inside of a tank for this. Uh, podcast. Yep, he's uh, he'll be here. Yeah, um, Shelby An Shelby ends a tank, and we've decided that Shelby needs to be on location for all of these uh, live feeds, um, uh, and that needs to be uh, very important. Uh, and we, the the location is going to change every single night, um, just to have a little bit of fun. Oh wait, we've got this, a hairy rat in our screen. <laughs> it was. It was. So, so yeah, I think I think we're going to take that tonight as a bit of a uh, uh, as as a bit of a test because Shane, you said you you've got you got to take your kids to uh, uh, sports ball as I like to call it. Yeah, that was uh, that was Shane. Yeah. The, but wait, uh, we've got someone we've got someone new on who's who's just jumped on. Valerie, <laughs> you got audio? We can't hear you, buddy. We can't hear you. We got your audio see, working. We can see your mustache. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Sweet. That's pretty sweet. We're we're highly impressed at the 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 sweet nothings that you're whispering at us this entire time. Yeah, you're you're muting yourself. It looks like. It looks like a young Burt Reynolds. <laughs> pretty sweet. Oh, you got me. Now we do. Hey, there we go. Oh, That's sweet. sweet. There it goes. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm growing a mullet too. Uh, <laughs> Mullet. I'm getting ready for the kid, man. I want sweet family pictures when when he gets here. <laughs> hey, that's awesome, dude. That's, that's I was thinking about getting right. a uh, Camaro. Also. Uh, what what you what, what you want to do is you get the get once once you get the kid and you get the mullet, get ready for the the photo by holding onto it with with what like with, on one leg only. So this thing's dangling upside down with no pants on. That's like uh, the ultimate family. I do that with my little girl already, and she's like six or seven, but. One of those. It's a, it's a father's right to fuck with his kid's childhood. Yeah. Can All you right, guys hear us? Sure. Yep. Yes. Can hear you. Hey, we're on. Hey, hey guys. The Brain FPV team. Hi. So the world, the world wants to know what does what does Martin look like when he doesn't have his face on? My face. I don't know how to eat it. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> um, can we talk more about mullets? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, we can. I was enjoying that uh, conversation. I'm gonna lose my job for growing a mullet. <laughs> so, is this the thing? Are you guys all giving your children mullets? Is that, no, is that like the way of being a parent? Ourselves mullets. Oh, that's even better. Excellent. That's a great idea. I support I that. Do that too. I mean, I have a giant bald spot, so I thought it would go well with that. So, that's mm -hmm. definitely. So, okay, if what, I decide if I want to sit. Then what you can do is when you when your your kids uh, misbehave, you can threaten to drop them off at school with the mullet in the PJs, <laughs> and you'll walk them to the front door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in That's the pajamas. <laughs> Chad, how's the uh, how's the mullet yeah. scenes where you're at? The mullet scenes. Oh, uh, the the mullet. On the about uh, here in Australia is uh, rich and plentiful. Um, 
so uh, we have the Australian version of the redneck, which we call the bogan. Uh, bogan? So, the yeah, bogan. so we, we uh, the Australian bogan is the is just like the quintessential American redneck, uh, and uh, they they love to own a, a mullet. Looks like Shelby's here with his tank. Yeah, why does it say Jackson? You're on the wrong. Uh, you're on the wrong. What? The fuck Who's are we Jackson? Talking about? Who's Jackson? Yeah, what's going on? I feel like we're about to. Uh, Sh Shelby unravel. just beat the crap out of a random guy that happened to have a uh, a Google account and yeah. has, has taken it over and and uh, he's uh, he's apprehended his tank. I've got my fucking tank. I'm trying Shelby, to figure it out. I just pulled up where it was. I know. I'm outside of the Carolina Ale House. The Carolina Ale House. Ah, I see. The number right. phone's ringing. So we got some topics. And Can you bring us in? One, to the, oh, sorry. The first one's supposed to be uh, this whole lunchbox FPV debacle. Yeah, that's something. That. Right. Can Can somebody uh, start by basically going over the whole, a basic overview of this whole lunchbox FPV thing? Because I'm right out of that, and I don't know what's going on about it. And I just hear the word lunchbox and people pissed off and it kind of makes me laugh a little bit because I'm like, what the hell's going on? So can someone explain what's going on? Who knows it well? Yeah. Not it. Not it? Not it. Definitely not it. Martin. I can explain. All right, Martin. There well, is. I, okay. I can explain what I heard. I, it's not it's like fine. first time thing, right? I mean, uh, it seems like, I mean, like Jason... Uh, like lunchbox FPV, right? They he made like this uh, lunchbox um, box to put a tiny move in, and uh, I think he had like a V1 first. That it was like 3D printed, and then he like made it better, made a V2 from it, and then basically did this Kickstarter. I think like early this year, uh, where a lot of people pre-ordered and stuff. So I think that that's like. I mean, well, we, we can talk about that, All right? I'll yeah, so he, he had a Kickstarter and uh, people pre-ordered. Uh, he had a lot of pretty cool features, like you can like charge stuff and has like a built-in DVR with screen and diversity and all this stuff. And uh, well, then he was late, so of course, I mean, that's pretty typical. Kickstarter is always late, uh, shipped late. And then there were some really negative reviews that just, like the whole thing just didn't work at all. Like there's this guy, uh, Benedict or whatever his name is, like the micro rotor warehouse yeah, guy. The German, yeah. the German yeah, yeah. Uh, He's like German, I think, but he lives Australian. in Australia. Yeah. Uh, he basically got two of them and it just didn't work at all because the internal battery was completely discharged. Uh, and there's some other issues like the diversity doesn't work and, and stuff like that. Uh, so people are not very happy. Well, and then on top of that, a lot of people have been coming out, a lot of companies like have been coming out about their poor experiences with Jason, the CEO of Lunchbox, um, and yeah, um, like several. I think it's like four, four companies, um, like Newbie Joan, Tiny Whoop, um, he was like a uh, Miss Creature, um, and Flyby Academy. Like, there's like a lot of people who yeah have bad who claim that he owes them a lot of money. Um, yeah. As well as, as the people as, who are about to put his product in their home. Right. As far as all the hate goes, I think the first thing that people need to do is they need to take about a third of that hate and just throw it straight out of the door because every single company's got hate. Uh, of course. They've, they've all got their fanboys and their hate and lots of stuff, so you'd have to take it with a grain of salt. Um, but, I mean, if it's becoming sort of industry-wide uh, sort of uh, agreed uh topic of conversation then you gotta think oh yeah, there's something to it uh but yeah like i said i'd seen rumblings with it but i'm just like oh great someone's pissed off about something again i just can't be bothered getting involved in this uh but but also i, I don't want an fpv station in a lunchbox so i don't really care uh, yeah. <laughs> i i thought it was a really cool idea um i really i i mean yeah a big part of why i kind of joined um martin and in this FPV industry is because of the educational outreach uh, approach and like just the opportunities that FPV can provide for like education and children and things like that. So I thought that that it was kind of a cool idea. And I, I just, I 
there's saw a lot of opportunities. We were actually reached out to collaborate with them at some point because we thought we could kind of Real quick. do a lot of cool shit. Real quick, guys. Shelby, Shelby, what's your what's your take on this whole thing? <laughs> that was busy. <laughs> Don't bother me when Daddy's working. You were <laughs> you were getting bored. Hey, yeah, I was having fun over here. It's using some Dolce and Gabbana light blue. Ooh. It's very good hand. Yeah, it's very nice. For, it's a refreshing body cream. It is. How about this? Crab, I have to get some day. leg quartz. I don't know what that is. Can you really like start water, rubbing hydrogenated that on your hands? I already did. You missed it all. It was all here, and then I went down here mm. and had a little fun. E even men that uh, dri drive tanks deserve to have nice hands. It's got pretty <laughs> sweet high heels on, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Don't be a hater. I won this at Virginia Commonwealth Games. <laughs> oh, you weren't fucking around. You're serious about the heels. Are they your size? Did you try them on? Did they make you wear them? Can we no, have the pictures? No, I did not. But I was uh, showing them off. So what's my take on Lunchbox's shit? Yeah. I like I love Lunchbox. So I, I wasn't privy to all the other information that was going around about him. So I don't really have anything to say on it because he's a friend and I like what he's doing. But uh, I don't know all the backstory with... Uh, went on so but anyone who's involved in the industry will know that there's a lot of shit that goes on behind the scenes that the general oh, public yeah. don't see that it's that, not talked about and particularly if the businesses are professional it stays between those businesses it's only when 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 you get the guys that like to throw their hands up in the air like trappy that it becomes public knowledge that uh, someone's fucking pissed off um but there's a lot of shit that goes on that people don't talk about. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a lot of shit I, that I know that goes on yeah, in the back. Yeah, that's and I, I, I think quiet. the problem, the, the the problem too, is with this. I've seen this over the last couple of years where you've had this sort of the massive influx of FPV and everyone's got this big dream about it being the next Formula One and lots of stuff. So you get this influx of, of new players, of manufacturers and businesses coming in there because they want their piece of the pie. And then uh, what happens is uh, the, the, the inevitable, uh, I don't want to call it slump, but the reality check of everything getting back down to where it should have been after the hype all of a sudden now you've got more businesses uh, catering for the an, a, a customer base that can't really support that and shit starts getting real. Uh, that's that's when people start getting desperate. They start stabbing each other in the back. They start fighting. And this is what we've seen over like the last sort of 10 months or so, that, that reality check. Uh, the community and, is too small to carry all the companies. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. And so uh, it, it, it all comes down to how how these businesses uh, conduct their business. And I'm not saying that Lunchbox has done anything wrong. I'm not saying Lunchbox has done everything right. But when it gets all stressful, that's when all the dirty laundry starts getting aired and people like to start throwing shit around from both sides. Uh, and I think as a customer, you've got to make up your, de your decision. Like take it all with a little bit of grain of salt and sit back and go, do I want to be involved with this? Do I not want to be involved with this? Because th there's two sides to every story. And in this sort of situation, we've got to be careful that we don't sling too much shit on lunchbox because they're not there to defend themselves oh, and so for sure. forth. But at the same time, um, yeah, it's no, it's, it's my biggest crazy. fear. Okay. Like that is my yeah. biggest fear. And you know, mm. in running a company, right? So like, you know, I, I was saying yesterday, basically, like, yeah, just putting like every all like it's, this is like a product is like kind of like your baby, right? Like you've put basically like everything you have from yourself into this product and you know you want to share this with people and you know you, there's the like fuck? so many steps what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck um are you okay <laughs> something you put the tank in night mode oh okay things are getting crazy it is getting real shit is getting real virginia yeah, so just, you know, running a company and having a product go out and, you know, having it work, whether, you know, it worked when they sent it out or not, but, you know, having it, somebody try it and having it fail is a scary, scary thing. And it's really, it sucks to get shitty reviews and it sucks, you know, I mean, definitely, it's it's all, it's all scary as fuck to me. Um, I that can't one, imagine like what he's going through. That motor guy, he didn't, he doesn't normally give reviews. Like he's not known as like this big YouTube reviewer or anything. And he put yeah, that, that was because so that thing will burn your freaking house down. Yeah. 
he didn't get one. He got two that were both horrific. Yeah. Um, that's but that, it. yeah, that actually, he did make a mistake though in his review. Like, he basically, he opened it, right? And then, I mean, there's definitely something wrong because the battery was completely empty. Oh, God. That's the internal battery. In there's like a 3S, uh, like an 18650 uh, lithium ion batteries are in there. But then he was like, oh, oh he God. measured. What the fuck are we talking about? He measured the voltage. Such a chassis, sassy, sassy mouth. You guys talk very rude things on there. What, what fucking drama are we talking about now? We got what are we talking we're, about? We're, we're still talking about the same we drama. We haven't moved on. We haven't moved on. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're slow. This, this is your boy lunchbox fucking... burning people's houses down. No, so actually, so, so that, that was a mistake. I think that was a mistake. Like, uh, Frederick, or whatever his name is, the guy who did the review basically was like, there's no battery protection circuit in there. So, the battery, like, whatever you plug in just goes to the 3S battery that's internal and which just blow up. But there is actually a battery protection circuit. Love you too, Corey. Some circuit on the battery pack inside the shrink wrap. How much is this? Like, how much does it cost to buy it's one? It's like $150. And it dollars. doesn't even come with a transmitter or Damn. an actual... I was going to say, um, I'd buy one and test that out and see if I can blow it up, but... Right. That would be fun. No. All right, we got some... So what are we talking about? Still talking about lunchboxes and shit? Are you in your car, it's too? Yeah, yeah. We, got, we got Lewis I'm in the chat now. I'm on my way to go get food, but you guys said drama. I mean, come on. Right. Luis! <laughs> oh, bro, you're actually Luis! driving and doing this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Florida. It is Miami, bro. We're allowed to drive and talk and eat. You know? Yeah, it's uh. If there's anybody who is a source of drama, it's Lewis. Louise, he's not oh, bad, yes. dude. I'm okay, oh, how are you, buddy? Groups earlier today, actually, he posted a video in like three or four different groups. You know, typical Lewis stuff. Three hundred ninety-nine foot. He can't uh, <laughs> uh, commenting on one of your videos or something like that because people were. My yeah, he's uh, flying the 5S Goblin, you know, in pure Lewis fashion, 399 foot cloud ceiling, as usual. And um, and people just KG, lost their mind. RC, it was, what's up? It was oh, half so the people losing their minds, and the other half of the people like. I almost started commenting on your viewers. There, I stayed away from it. <clears throat> Me too. You do, I have no of... idea what the fuck you guys are talking about. I was just a road ride. Are you so, so hey, I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching the actual YouTube channel. No, and it's like so. Maybe um, we can respond to some of them. Check it out. Kevin was here the last week, oh, and he's like, yeah. "Louis, yes. why don't we fly where there's people? You know, like on the on the main streets. You know, uh, chasing you at night." <laughs> yeah, at night, you at know, night. like at 12 o'clock at night, you know, so we start like going on our main road with the DGI, you know, and start like chasing cars. Uh -huh. And then people got upset about it for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> so we do the same thing with the planes, you know? Yep. Down in Miami. It wouldn't be a day in FPV if someone wasn't upset about something. Oh. Well, it would be a boring that's, 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 boring. that's how you know that FPV is still actually got a heartbeat. I'm going to make my holiday special. Shreddy balls. Shreddy balls. Shreddy. Shreddy balls. Shreddy. I I, I think I think Shel I think Shelby's trying to tell us to get onto the next subject. I think so. Yeah. Maybe. His balls are getting a little bit sweaty. sweaty. Yes. Yeah. Sweaty. Shelby, what do you want to talk about? I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> as long as it's FPV related or we laugh, that's all I give a shit about. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So here I am again in the old car corral waiting for the cops to show up. This time I'm in a bar. So when we tested so, the other day, I was in a grocery parking lot. This time I'm at a bar. Right, I, cops I thought cops you come the, by here. I thought you were at the front of a massage parlor. Massage. 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 Massage, mate. Fucking massage. Is that, is that fucking Nissan shit again? Nissan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nissan. 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 You get to talk Australian, at least fucking get it right. Nissan, you get a massage. <laughs> a massage. <laughs> I would drive my Nissan. I don't care. Whatever yeah, you guys we... want to talk about. Why are you? I mean, okay. Are you like? Do you travel for work? What? What the hell is that about? All right, so. It's the same vehicle you saw me in Virginia with. It's no different. Yeah, it's got a lot of soul. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to stay at my house with kids running around and my wife 
and then pounding on the door. While I Dad's mean, acting like an idiot. Mine keeps coming by and peeing. You know, like, I saw him running in and out. That, yeah. That's the like, sign of a true, a true happy family. And, wait, can we nice. just? His, his wife comes She's in and pregnant. Just he Are you in the like bathroom every five right minutes? Now? I mean, she comes by oh, the bathroom. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. That's allowed. That's allowed. It's, it's the sign of a true, a true happy family where where the, oh, the husband yeah, happy. Kid just <laughs> runs behind the couch and pees while the parents are on a live stream. So quick question. Okay. Um, hey, check it out. Um, two weeks ago, a guy reported. There's a lot of fucking people in here. There is. Oh wait. Whoa! I heard the FA, the magic FA word. Go ahead, Lewis. Oh, FA. Yeah. Fuck that. Oh, All right. So, Jesus Christ. So two, two weeks ago, yes. a guy How may I help you? Today, I'm here. One, one of the Jesus Christ on line seven. I'm right here. How are you doing today? All right, Corey. <laughs> All right. Hang on, Corey. Corey in the so, chat. So the guy posted the pictures, you know, how he reported me out, all this stuff, you know, and then the guy got a reply was like, take it to your local authorities, you know, and then we kicked the guy out from other groups, of course. But um, how does that work? How does reporting work? It doesn't you know, work. How, it doesn't work, I guess, you know. So, what's, <laughs> so why do people say, oh, we're going to report you to the FAA, you know. One of the guys tried, you know, and the guy, FAA what? told him, like, just take it up with your local people, you know. It's it's no I different. Thing happened to no me different. on Instagram last week or the other week. Someone sent me a message saying, "Hey, a video that you may have posted." The guy tagged the FAA on it. I was like, "Oh." I I, 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 I think it's that. the numbers know. you get though. Like if you have, you know, a bunch of people watching it, and yeah, I think if you're unlucky, right? If someone <laughs> yeah. asks the FAA, is like, "Oh, this is bad," but. And nothing ever the, happens. The, the, FAA, the, the FAA is no different to a lot of these government organizations where they, they have a very small um, employee base that works on getting people in trouble for fines and things like that. So the likelihood of you getting in trouble from them is very low. So there's two ways that it's going to happen. Uh, you're either doing something really full on in their mind that is extremely dangerous in their mind and breaking a lot of regulations, or you're doing something that is getting a lot of exposure <sighs> that they don't want. Sorry. So if, if, you're, if you're a better known pilot, then you're more likely to get dobbed into the FAA. It's the way that it is. And pe people will say that they're going to dob, dob you in in the same way that when you piss someone off, they're going to go, well, I'm going to call the cops because you shouldn't be parking there. All the small guys <laughs> don't get noticed. Fucking <laughs> <Yeah. Okay>, bastards. <laughs> I'm sitting on like hours and hours of footage. I just can't post it. I know. Like every That's time I do, do I, get, yeah, I get the old FAA thing. I post it. To my buddies, I mean, it's here's here's the simple here's the simple fact: you can post it because none of these government organizations can um, prove that it was you. Oh, that's, that's yeah, yeah. Just make some fake it, accounts, get a VPN from Russia. I'll just tell them that it's Shelby <laughs> did it. Just blame you, you Russia. Don't even, you don't even. You don't even. Need, you don't even need. You don't even need to do that because they it. can't prove that it was you flying. They have right, no way of proving that. That's true. Even if, but even if you put your face on it, even if you've got your drone pointing at you while you've got goggles and a transmitter Can't on, prove it. prove it was actually you pr flying. Uh, I went through all this with my government organization where they took me in and I spent a whole day with them interviewing me, interrogating me, and, and I played the political pinball game to keep them happy. But at the end of the day, they had nothing on me because they couldn't prove it was me. Because every time they asked, every time they asked for... Um, me to plead that I was guilty and, and uh, say that I did it, I, I didn't answer. Hmm. Right. So it, it, it all depends on it all depends on how much uh, shit you want to get through. So if you Ooh, truly like believe this. that what this you're doing was, was fine and so forth, then go ahead and post it. Just know that you're probably going to get some attention from these government organizations, the um, and they're going to make your life hell. They the can't catch ADD. you in the end of it, but it that depends on how much you actually want to well, uh, push it. All right, cool. Mallory, All right, are your balls doing, always man? itch, dude? Uh, yeah, dude. My ball. Oh, good. God damn it. Constantly. Itch, yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's what they do. I mean, <laughs> you need I'm to, pretty sure that's what they're made for. Spray. Besides. Making babies and stuff. Do you guys want to make a, replying to the chat? You can make what's there? called penis. Okay, yeah. In, in, in the 
in the chat we've got okay we need some drama right wins right wing sucks chuck right my wing change wing. my mind i don't know. i can't <laughs> i can't you're too immature you fly quads <laughs> no he doesn't he can't build he um i mean how many do we well, have? i i have one hardcore and i don't really have much to say about it so cuz maybe we can leave this for Maybe we can leave this for another night, but when we've got more wing guys in there. But I know a lot of the uh, the viewers uh, are quad guys, uh, and as a quad guy, I'd love to know about all the drama that's going on in in the uh, in the wing community because there's a lot more drama going on there than I think a lot of the quad guys realize. I melted my motor mount. I mean, that's that not really yeah. Drama, there's a lot. There's say. a lot of drama. But we keep it internal. We keep it inside. We don't. We don't like to spill it out. Oh, that's that's was... fucking boring. Make it public. I, I would do like a do a <laughs> do a public rant on someone. Let it out. This, the quad guys know how to do it the best. Well, well fuck, I, I got skeletons. Skeletons. The, uh, skeletons. the um, amount yeah. of hobby ruining videos that are being posted and like just what we talked about before, like people losing their mind. And people love it. So <laughs> it's it's the same shit, just with fixed wing and what? less propellers. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. We we do a lot of fucking crazy shit too, and we get kind of barked at once in a while. I don't think we internally we don't fight about it. Internally, when we post some of these really awesome vids, we don't. No one really yells at us. How about wing guys? I don't think. Yeah, I think that we all like purposely try to piss each other off. But you gotta see, there's a smaller really mean collective it. group. Yeah, ours is a smaller. Smaller group. Well, and we're tighter. When, sh but it's when Shane's rapidly. on the live, when the Shane's on the when Shane's on the live feed next, I'll ask him. I'll ask him this same oh, question. I'll tell him. I'll tell him I'll ask him this one, Shane. Yeah. Why the fuck does the leading edge of your wing come to a point? That's the worst fucking design for a wing. Boom. Yeah, There's some drama. Why don't you fly my <laughs> wing, velocity 48 by right wing, and fly something that flies amazing? If you don't it. believe me, there's been videos posted in the past three days by different guys out west that flew it fucking sick. Sick places. Is this it's kind of like leading like edge. It's, it's, it's garbage. I mean, when it flies, it, it's just, it fucking yanks with the, it just porpoises like crazy because it's leading edge. It's just grabbing at the wind and yanking it all over the damn place. Shelby, is this I have similar, a question. Is this similar to... Put it this uh, way. To, I flew uh, it. Someone gave out. it to me. Someone gave it to me. And I hated it so much that I told the guy I was with I was like, watch this shit. This is how much I hate it. I'm going to pile drive this bitch in the ground full speed. Climbed up to about 200 feet and did a nose dive as fast as I could and drove that shit into the dirt. Which Broke it. His, for, his wing is uh, Who's? his actual Shane's. Shane's got a wing with his name on it. Oh, shit. I've got a wing. I got a wing with my name on it. That right wing. Cell. I mean, I put my name on a lot of wings. Yeah. But, but <laughs> and no one wants to fly wings. them because they're too slow and they don't win. I, <laughs> wait, where's that middle? Oh wait, it's hanging at the house with the other ones. <laughs> okay. See, there's the drama that we Let's, had. Sweaty we balls. Let's, but that's sweaty the topic to talk about. Sweaty balls. Sweaty balls. Sweaty balls. Is that the change? Then there's or the sofa kid. My, my left testicle, Therese, and my right testicle, uh, Gloria. <laughs> there's, there's a challenge going on. So they, they think they're women, but they're really testosterone balls. Yeah. There's really some gonna, confusion going on. Where is they're the? Gonna, uh, they're gonna have a sex change soon. They're both gonna have a sex change. It, where's the T motor at? Is it out yet? Like, what's going on with that? All right. So there's a spec wing motor for the spec class in racing wings, and Cobra used to be the spec wing motor, and then they what crapped out. Uh, we don't know. Like, government came in and shut them down for some reason. So wow. the, the, the wing always, racing, always the wing racing association, that was the motor we told. Or they I told love that motor. They had to get it. It was great. It's an awesome motor. And then so they stopped making them, but then they made another batch when they got back on their feet just a little bit. And this was recently, but that batch sucked. It was like horrible. So I now have they're the over the T motors. Like motors. No, and they're, they're in shambles. But then so T motor hit up. The wing racing or, uh, association and they form a contract or whatever, and those motors are supposed to be in like the next two weeks. So yeah. all these 
wing it's pilots that are racing are waiting for the specific motor that you hmm. have to have in the spec class. Okay, here's uh, we're talking about how businesses conduct themselves. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I'll, that I'll is have a big <laughs> ass microphone, Chad. That is a big yeah. microphone. Yeah, can we talk about how big your microphone is? <laughs> this is this is <laughs> very this, very, this is very touching. I mean, right it's now. not it's not long, but it's <laughs> but it's thick. It's very thick. <laughs> yeah. It's all about you. Yeah. It's all about the. Back going along with your gender challenged balls. This is amazing. <laughs> this is Charisse. Do you think this is a microphone? Charisse, it's this not Clarice. Charisse. Okay, I thought I thought you were like doing some weird like uh. <laughs> silence of the lambs, like Clarice. <laughs> So, so, Mallory, what were we going to say? Wait, Who was talking? Oh, I, was just I, was all, I was just curious when the uh, T motor is going to be shipped because I felt like it's I feel like it's Even behind. Has a rudder but honestly, I, I haven't tried to I haven't tried to order it myself. But uh, I just I've watched the the pilots page, and I see that like people are trying to get it and they haven't gotten it yet. So, I, yeah, so have, I guess like oh, Chad and all guys, there's a whole other. There's a whole other drone side of racing, which is the wing racing, and you guys aren't really privy to all that. There's like a Facebook page that we all belong to, all the pilots around the country and starting out around the world that we all meet up, and we actually Did you just condescendingly say. say that we, we don't know anything about the No, wing? you don't know anything. Oh, no. I, was just, I was just wanting to make but, sure. Yeah, so, so, hey. so, 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 yeah, so if you have a spec wing with the Cobra motor... Spec is yeah. is the new is the T motor the same or you have to change? So they, the they they for the remainder of the year, you're allowed to stay with that Cobra motor because that's what the spec was based off of. So right. the co the T motor, uh, they bench tested it a few of them and they passed. They they're equal within like a percent or maybe two, so they passed it. So you can run both motors, you know, one or the other, and that going forward T motor will be the spec motor. So, Makes sense. Who, who remembers back in the, uh, the 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 quad scene back when the uh, the uh, the Cobra 2204, which was actually a 2205 yep. motor, but I just was, lost was those. The it, was, it was like they they were amazing. I, I still had some of those. So I put it on her. We put it on her Oblivion, and she crashed it into the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. You talking about the original <laughs> the, Cobra 2204s? Yeah. yeah. But the yeah, whole, everybody the whole, had to have. They're awesome. Those days. The whole, the whole Cobra, the, I want to call it the Cobra debacle, I think, is a perfect example of how a company can own the, the, the community and then lose it through bad business practice or silly decisions. I mean, back then... You had the it was the sunny sky. Everyone bought the sunny yep, skies, and then that. Cobra yeah. came out with the twenty two hundred four. Yep. And then every every like, if you wanted a motor, it had to be the Cobra. That was it. Cobra motor. And they yep. they owned it, but they owned the scene first of all by, by lying because the uh, the stator was actually bigger. That's why it was making more power. And when they got caught out, they start they lied about it, like, oh no no no, we didn't lie, blah blah blah. And then they had their QC issues where the magnets were starting to fall out. And slip like out, that. yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah, and um, and it affected a lot of the the like the, the team pilots and things like that that were backing their company but having problems with it. And I know I was I was one of them. Uh, where any pilots that would sort of try and say to um, uh, to Cobra that they needed to fix something, their response was basically "fuck you, you don't know what you're talking about, you're a stupid idiot." Uh, uh -huh. And uh, and that kind of brought out all the pilots to go. That's why you started seeing all these pilots dumping Cobra because they were like, "eh." So of course, then uh, you had all these pilots dumping Cobra, and then Cobra started basically trying to fuck with them online and and saying nasty the things pilots? about them, and yeah, and kicking yeah. them out, kicking them out of forums and that sort of stuff. Whoa. And by that, by that time, there was all these other Chinese companies that had come out and gone, "Oh, well, you're making a 2205 motor. We'll make a 2206 motor," and Cobra was too busy being a bunch of assholes to actually stay on top of it and stay in front of it. And they went from the only motor manufacturer and owning to the game to completely non-existent. And it's very That's interesting really to see how how companies can um, go from one extreme to the other. Uh, and well, they did it again. You never, or, Same thing again, because yeah. when they got the wing shit, they got all in. They were making wings for all, not just the spec, but every, because I was one of their team pilots and then I, they would send me motors to test or whatever I'd ask them to send. And then they were selling them and moving them. And, and then and we had team pilots. And the next thing you know, they just dropped off the planet. 
we were yeah. we didn't know anything as team pilots. Yeah. We thought we needed gear. They were gone. They had no correspondence. Well, we found out through the grapevine they had just too. crashed. Yeah, they and then they did that after. Weapons. That was after. Yeah. Yep. That was after. And so well, they've done it now every twice. Ended on their motors for like their uh for like their RTFs and stuff and like just dropped out completely. They just They make good motors when they were going good. Well, they, yeah, were, when, they were really they good. Did. Yeah. But I mean, I have companies. one that's lasted like two years, and it's I beat the crap out of it. It's a great motor, but yeah. all all companies go through problems. All companies go through manufacturing problems, QC problems. They have things that fail, and occasionally every company will send out a bunch of shit to customers <laughs> through no fault of their own. No, I disagree uh, with that. Just, I'm sorry. Right, you like, got a huge badge, dude. Like. That's if we get a point. shitty batch, we're not going to send it out. Fuck that, yeah. you know. And and, never, and maybe that's you know we get all of our batches here. We know. test them out. That's Sweaty balls. balls. <laughs> I mean, I'm reading this. I'm reading the chat. The chat. YouTube. It's, it's, well, it it all depends. It all depends on the on the product that you're putting out and how much QC you can practically put into it. Sometimes yeah. things get through, right. uh, and I'm not saying I'm not saying that they deliberately put shit out, but occasionally something will go wrong. It'll get through the QC. It happens. Oh, uh, for sure, it happens. Everyone, uh, and you um, have to take responsibility for and, it, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. What are you doing? Why are you, why are you smiling? It's, Fried cheese. It's how you deal with it. Uh, and and fix a scenario that really defines you as a company because everyone fucks up, hey, but it's how you it's it's how you deal with it that defines you as a company. Okay, we fucked up. Everyone, bring them back in. We'll get a replacement as soon as we can. Exactly. Uh, and Just moving on. Uh, and it doesn't yeah, have to get weird than, and emotional. Oh no, it's it's not a problem. You're a problem and all that sort of stuff. And there's times there where you've as a company you've got to defend yourself. Do you but, think yeah. they're going to come back though? Do you believe they will come back from this? Communist China, Cobra. Absolutely. Yeah, do you believe no. Cobra will like? How do you gain the trust again after pulling all that bullshit? They screwed wing, all the wing pilots oh, and all the quad pilots. Okay. Who's left? left? Yeah, but it it really depends on what you what you mean by come back because a Sunny Sky is another perfect example. Sunny Sky owned the market and then Cobra basically dominated. And Sunny Sky disappeared. Sunny Sky dis didn't disappear. Sunny Sky is a massive company that did a lot of the R and D for a lot of these other companies, and actually made their motors OEM style. They just put other people's badges on them. So it depends on what you say. Is Cobra coming back as a brand? Probably if, hard to do. But if, if, if the but motors if big came back, I would buy them. I mean, yeah. How else do we see it? As long as the quality still, you know, stands. But yeah. What's that noise? What is that? What's, Who has a dog? Who's the fuck is he walking the clothing? I'm going to freaking laundry board. They're all looking like a yank in that shit. When is the last time you made a water? We're going to put on behind the scenes in our country. Luis, 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 what are you eating? Yes, Luis. That one right here. Luis, what are you eating? What is that green sack of shit? Tell us everything about that. I just want to lick it. It looks like a fucking diaper. It is. Wait, a dog just shit that out on the back lawn. Can I just roll in it? Oh How much was it? Like, what, what am I Can missing? Are you trying to induce vomiting? Louis? Louis is that <laughs> yeah, let's watch you eat it, Louis. Let's watch <laughs> you, you eat, eat this it. diaper that you paid for. You paid for a nasty ass diaper. Dude, that I looks do fucking not good. Know Nick is, I'm sorry. Cobra died with Nick. That's gross. I guess that's the owner hey, of previous. Mia, oh, I just got a little thing by said, Mia, local single woman. Millions uh, of members, free of you photos. Ooh, let's do let's yeah. do it. Can can you can live we stream. yeah? Can we live stream that? Can we just? I don't know. The live streaming, a live stream. Luis, what are you eating? <laughs> he can't talk. He's in the gas station. Dude, I'm eating chicken chicken avocado, and you always uh, fried is, cheese. Chicken what? avocado, like a uh, what is that? Is that a sandwich? Yeah, it's uh, it's on a, <laughs> a, on a arepa. An arepa. Arepa. Uh, oh my god, arepa. Oh, they're so fucking good. I'm so hungry. Oh my god. <laughs> You made me hungry. I started listening. I saw you eating, and I told, I'm like, let me go to the No, I'm eating, eating a motherfucking the, grapefruit. The that the doesn't that? count. This is not good. That's good. Oh, let me show you the menu. I had Pop Tarts. I mean, am candy. I allowed to curse in this? Because I have a. What the dirty fuck are you talking about? We can't fucking talk in here like that. It's <laughs> oh. shitty ass language. <laughs> Sweaty Fine, fuck you, sir. 
Got some with a V, it's like a sh- like a- Shreddy, like Shreddy, like Shreddy. Sh- Shreddy balls. Okay, so Shreddy I, balls. I have a ch- I have a challenge. I, I don't care. An official challenge no. for all of the- no. uh, Can you the fit listeners. that entire thing in your no. mouth? Chad? Are there like five <laughs> listeners? Where are they at? Can you see the number? Hey, who's watching right now? Uh, we got 12 people watching. Uh, okay. There are 12 people. So for, all the pe- for all the people watching, uh, this is a challenge that I know Jennifer will approve of. Um, Probably. We want you, this is Drama Llama, as a group, we challenge our listeners to go on to social media and every time we okay, see Joshua, every time you see Joshua Bardwell do a post, a reply, you need to reply back in a sexual manner to him, like like he's the sex god. Yes. This, this is the challenge. So do that and we want you to screenshot it and we want you to go to the Drama Llama Facebook page and post it. I oh, approve of this message. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally sorry, sorry. Yeah. We're done? Yeah. We're sexually, we're um, literally, we're, we're um, subject. Or, I mean, no? I've always been doing that. Isn't that a thing? Yeah. Did so, you do? Oh, oh, I know. Yes. Okay. So we, we need to give them, we need to give them sort of like a, 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 a version of what we're talking about. So let's say I'm going, hey, um, my quad, I've got a battery on it and the battery uh, doesn't quite fit. And Joshua Bardwell replies with, put it further in. And you say, <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's what she said. Um, <laughs> Classic. Um, I got it. I got it. Um, wait, what's a good one? Um, yeah, just make sure it's really tight and 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 wet. <laughs> no batteries shouldn't okay, be wet. It's a lot of broken. Wait. This is all I'm here. So. <laughs> 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 is it time? Is it- yes. Wait, you could reply oh, with, "Wow, JP, there's really electricity in the air." Right. Right. That's very good. Luis, yeah, there's a lot good. of background noise. What are you doing, man? I think Luis is at the jerk. Yeah, you're like, tug. there's like a crowd there. How's your he rape us? Come and go, and now he's going to the jerk and tug. They're awesome. Sorry. They're <laughs> Mike, it's all about, about the guy from the UK. They're right. Luis, you're putting off pheromones. Their dog is getting horny. <laughs> yeah. Tell them about what? So I think they own a great day, and that thing was huge. Mm-hmm. About the guy from the oh, rags and hogs off. He's pulling in some meat. This yeah. sausage just dragging on the ground, waiting for Luis. Uh, I hear meat jokes all day. Uh, With the burner account? Why do you hear meat jokes all day? Are yeah, you- no. <laughs> I guess it gets old, get a little boring at the old dildo factory. Yeah. Well, it was <laughs> <laughs> do you work at a dildo factory? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah he's, he's, he's the manager of the QC department. Coupon codes? What? No, dude. I just get, yeah, I get yeah, tired yeah, of it. Discounts? I work in a meat, like... I cut meat, so oh, here like, comes. I hear it, oh. meat jokes all the time. What kind of meat do you cut? Male uh, What's your favorite meat to cut? Uh, oh, don't be racist. Come on, you like oh, it dark. I like milk cutting milk dog. What, what? the fuck is oh, milk is, dog? Wait, wait, wait. That's not like Korean. Like Korean. I wasn't, I wasn't Jeez, prepared for that. Please. I wasn't prepared for that. Milk, you like Korean milk dog. What Asian, the fuck is a milk dog? Well, I don't know. It sounds Asian. You cut it with. I mean, a knife and a, a that's salt. Kinky. <laughs> that's kinky. Uh, that's I brutal. Just make meat what kind of kinky sex are you into? I hear it every every day, all day. <laughs> <laughs> so old. If <laughs> Allie's like, psst, like genuinely like, knock it off. I really don't want to fucking hear any more of these. No, big dick jokes. Mine's small, teeny. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> I have some meat cooking right now in a sous vide. I don't even. Talk. I have to talk to people all day about it. I don't even. About me? About your meat? Yeah. About meat? What about? <laughs> talk is, to is me it about it. To, is, <laughs> is it embarrassing to know that they, you got a group of people talking live online about your meat? Yeah, about your meat. Uh, exactly. About your milk dog meat. <laughs> you should feel privileged to not. I kill. I call them around the world. Are because talking because about your meat? That's what they call it, the kids call them. So like. Yeah, they they we drive by fucking cows and they're like, oh look, milk dog. Like yeah, milk I fucking. Dog. Oh, that's cute. Those little, the milk dog. Cut I just those got up it. in pieces. Yeah, it's cute until you tell your kids like, yeah, I fucking chop them up. 
Also, it's a, it's a cow. Right. Yeah, all right, that tickled left. I lost Chris, all that. You keep, talking, right. you keep on talking about your meat, and all I seem to do is just I'm licking my ice cream. Yeah, you're licking that lollipop like you're a fucking like champion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Trying to turn me on that, over here across the ocean? Just put it all. Yeah. Keep talking meat. Yeah, keep Chad's image up can so I can watch bring, you lick that can you, just, can you pull out your high heel? Stiletto? Oh, that yeah. would help this whole conversation. Get it real kinky. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Chad, Chad, I want you in these. Chad, you in these. Oh, I'll rub, baby. And I'll rub this cream all over you. Okay? <laughs> You'll smell like Volchi and Gabbana. Me, like, me, me and Shani. And then I you got to talking about it. What are you guys fucking doing? He's in talk. the dark outside of a gas station yanking his horn, just hanging Wait, out. My boys. <laughs> <laughs> Stiletto in his hand. Make 20 bucks, man. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> Police officer shocks on his window. <laughs> Sorry, I got calluses. Are you guys making fun of me or what? That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Always. We're making fun of your meat. <laughs> we need to go back to FPV. The way in which you cut your meat. All right, guys. Guys, go back to FPV. Topics. All right. Yep. Okay. Next topic. Let's talk about. This is a couple weeks old now, but let's talk about TBS and their whole brouhaha. Well, more important. More importantly, what I would like to know, it's past the August 30 deadline that TBS gave that. So I'd like to know what, yeah, they, they, they put a date that they, the resellers had to, cho had to get, give a reply by August 30. So do we know what the general reply has been? Because TBS has gone on record and said that they've had 100% um, uh, positive response from resellers, which Definitely we know is bullshit. Not. So first and yeah. foremost, I'd like to thank TBS for allowing me to buy really cheap micro crossfire receivers because so many places dumped their line that they put them on sale for basically crack money in, in comparison just to get rid of it. And yep. it's phenomenal because Whoa. now I have six I receivers that I wouldn't have owned that cost me basically with three. Wait, why didn't you share that information with the rest of us? That would have been amazing. Because those ones wanted, are like wanted them all first. He, yeah, he was <laughs> busy buying out. receivers. That's why. Hey, yeah. I found a pile of cash. Want some? <laughs> so, thanks for that, Trappy. Um, but beyond that, this definitely wasn't a hundred percent because there was a, quite a few companies dumping their shit. What was exactly <laughs> copied? Like nothing. Inform me. I need information. I'm okay. A, um. I, I will come this. forward with this because uh, because I don't Stop mind copying from this. In my, <laughs> in my more like an arepa. So <laughs> to put my face on your arepa. Sorry. Essentially, <laughs> essentially nothing was uh, nothing was oh, nothing was copied. Essentially, there's no proof of anything that was copied. So um, uh, TBS is is annoyed that. Um, that FR Sky has come out with a 900 megahertz system that uses the same chipset. That, by the way, you kind of have to use that chipset. You don't really have much of a choice. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like uh, some, someone making a 2.4 gigahertz system, and then someone else making a 2.4 gigahertz system. The first person getting upset. So there were there was a lot of to and fro there between the all. Uh, there was a lot of to and fro between the various companies of uh, TBS getting the shits and the other comp and TB uh, and. FR Sky basically saying fuck you, and the the latest step that FR Sky did was like you know what if you're going to cause trouble we're going to use we're going to cause trouble as well. So they bought out a um a uh, like an immortal T clone I guess you could call it. It's very hard to say that because I mean it's a dipole antenna that you really can't do anything different to it. Um, and they made out a they brought out a receiver that was kind of like the same shape and size as the as the TBS micro receiver even though yeah, uh, all the traces were different. The pinout was different. Uh, there was nothing that was like it. But basically, TBS <laughs> lost their shit uh, and uh, and did what they did and said that they were copying them. When apart from the Immortal T, which I say again is a dipole antenna, and there's only so much you can do with a dipole antenna. Enter, enter, antenna. What are you doing? Tell me, dude. Wait, 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 that guy there. is a Yankee. Oh my god, Tanner, er. Yeah. Or, yeah, dude, that's like Rhode Island, Island stuff, man, it, or some that's up gay. north. I don't know. We don't. Yeah. Anyway. Gay. So do we continue? Think that, sorry, um, Valerie really drives the back. Of the <clears throat> no, I don't. Try do we think that re the response that um, that Fucking TBS great. had was an adequate and and reasonable and practical response? Number one. Uh, number two. 
do we do we think that um, it had the desired effect, or what kind of effect did it have on it? What what's the end result of all this? I've been shopping for FR Sky uh, R9 stuff. Yeah, I've been looking at the R9 hey, stuff nice. too. This dude's driving no lights on. Awesome, buddy. Hope you make it, man. <laughs> Let's watch Toby Road Rage, <laughs> everyone. I think he um, should have right over here. Sorry, and right. said we make a better product by ours. Wait, so yeah. you guys have been shopping for FR Sky products because of Trappy's uh, behavior? Yeah. I, okay. I've been doing not this just long because long of the attitude. <clears throat> I'm not Trappy. in a long range game right Come now. On. I've been looking into it, and because of the response, it's immediately turned me towards FR Sky. Even though That's they're silly, I man. Mean, but like, Crossfire is a great product. It is great product. I believe their product is the best. Better, but you know what? I'm going to buy. It is the best. Stand R9. In, hands down. Right. Like, I feel but like so, R9 is still that. buggy. Like, still has issues, right? So it's not perfect. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't care if it's not perfect. Uh, but you, do we have to do a long use range? Your like, you're, right? you, you can't, can't fly a long, long range, range for what? Like, eight years? Comfortably. We've been doing eight years long range. You can dry, You can fly the shit out of that crossfire. Right. Yeah. Long ass range. Right. But but so I don't really understand Laundry, the long range. Easy UHF, open LRS, everything. So yeah. Yes, yeah. I've flown open LRS, so I will fly fucking anything. That Take it from wing guys. We fly long range like all the time. That's all we've ever done is flying yeah, long so range. Yeah, so flying something shitty. We just recently we'll started out. out five, eight, and two, four. I don't know what their argument is. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm confused because like as like somebody <laughs> we want to come it and like. I named, I named I'll say testicle. things like sweaty balls. I'm trying to find her. Okay, so that, this is why I won't buy and, his stuff um, right and, now. And I know that a lot of people don't want to buy our stuff because mm. of, you know, whatever, because I'm a fucking cunt sometimes. And like, yeah. that's Jesus, fine. yes. God, finally, it's aired <laughs> it's, out. It's okay. <laughs> it's totally fine. I'll, I'll own it. But like, be nice um, to your customer. Own I don't, that C word. Own it. Yeah, I'm gonna get her a cape with a fucking C on the back. Oh yeah, I would love that. I would eat the shit out of that. Cape and, then if, and then a dirty tampon on the front. There we go. Um, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. No, I'm not. You just took it. Wait, you yeah, just stepped, You jumped over that fucking line. You just like there, saw the there line you go. and you just jumped her. Okay, so of course. It's the so like, let's show So like, so like, if, I didn't say if, used like, one. I said we painted it. That's on. like emotional and says oh, something. Jesus. Um, sew it in. So like then. It's then we like lose right. customers because like right. it's emotional. I mean, we're we're human. We're gonna buy like if you piss us off, we're not gonna buy your stuff. Of I mean, it, standing up and saying like he should have came out and said, "Hey, our product is better." He should have taken the high road and not said like gone to his. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. I I want to buy his product, but I'm right now I'm not. I mean, but I can, don't. I can, personally can don't I, matter. Can, so. Can can I can I ask this question? Can someone and I'm not trying to defend one side or the other, but uh, I'm hearing these comments of like, oh, you can't fly long range on the R9 and all that sort of stuff. Do do yeah. we have uh, do we have dedicated proof that you can't do that? Because uh, so like what 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 I was saying before is that you've got people that are going to say really bad shit about every product. So there's people out there that are going, oh, the R9's crap. I can't even get 20, 20 feet with it. Well, um, the last time I was in a park uh, playing with Crossfire, we couldn't get more than 50 feet. Um, so so that's what I've I have bad Kevin, situations with all of them. Kevin and our buddies, we've been trying to find someone doing a review or anything of the R9. Um, this is a little while ago, so it, it may be different now, but I didn't see... We didn't see anything significant, but I mean, yeah. I'm willing to find out <laughs> for the price difference and what's going on. I'm willing to find out right now. I the, guess the like, way the, so the you're, way trying, to, you're gonna try to run a, a, the FR Sky long range. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. All right. So, so I don't know. We've tested everything. Me, Alex, all the guys over here have tested all all the long range systems that are mm -hmm. on the market. Alex still runs seventy two. Oh, God knows why. yeah, but dude, but we were talking long. You're range. never gonna get him off of that. No, I know. <laughs> but I'm saying we've tested other shit like Easy UHF, Crossfire, um, Open LRS, FR Sky, Spectrum's garbage. <clears throat> Although I love Spectrum, there's. Uh, um, we've tested them all. It's not trying yeah. to be douchebaggy, but we have. I just, I feel like, um... I mean, trap your shit. Uh, wait, wait, it's you tested it in the hall. What do you think? Okay, you think this is the best. But so, for yeah, me, well, we okay. Tested, like, so, 
Easy, easy UHF has been the, was the gold standard for freaking years. And we, one of the tests we did with that, he was doubling the range. We're standing on, we're sitting on a roof at my machine's tests. We had the easy UHF and we had the crossfire all set up on the box, the servo tests. And drove, they drove around the urban area. You get a quarter mile, if you were lucky, with easy, easy UHF on a full power. You get on, I can't remember the wattage. It wasn't one watt, but it was comparable. The servo test is completely it went, flawed. It was twice at minimum. The servo test the is completely flawed. Yeah, How's I mean, it flawed when you're giving it inputs. I mean, this is because, because of the because of the way that um, these systems work when they mm -hmm. go down, like into. I mean, the whole what thing is, if it's getting the accurate inputs signal. It yeah. doesn't. It doesn't matter if it's getting the correct it, throws that I'm putting on the sticks. But if, if you go down to like, I think it's like three hertz um, mode. That's that's you can't fly. For example, a quad you can't fly on that. I can't remember. I I can't remember the technical terminology because it's off my head. But uh, when uh, things like Crossfire go to their their limp mode or whatever it is called, I can't remember where it goes down to a really oh, low right. refresh rate. Yeah, yeah. You can't fly a quad in that. It's been proven. Yeah. Um, now wings maybe, but um, that's why the whole servo test for a lot of us users is actually deeply flawed. Well, the, I mean the whole test test setup is flawed, right? Like if I just yeah. take uh, some random long range system and I go outside and test it, like like the easier UHF versus Crossfire, right? If I'm really lucky, like I may get really good range with easy UHF, but because maybe my neighbor has like a baby monitor that runs at nine hundred megahertz, right? Exactly. So, Unless you know you have like a really controlled environment, it's really hard to one to one compare. But these none things. of us fly in controlled environments. That's well, that's true. Yeah, well, that's like, true. Where are you wanting to fly? But it depends on who the test does, right? Like if I do, oh, what, what are you going to go? If you're going to just test it open range, right. line of yeah, sight, yeah. clear line of sight. There's, 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 there's yeah. people that are. There's, yeah. No, of course, but. Tested. That's, but if you're I trying mean, to fly, I don't know where you're trying to fly with the the long range systems that you're that are on the market. Here's the here's the test that I give you that the only this is the only test that I listen to. I watch after about a year of a, of a product uh, being out there, and if people are falling out of the sky left, right, and center, and you've got a majority of people complaining about it, then I say it's an issue. And yeah. this is what I'm saying about this. So with the with the R9 stuff, I'm not seeing that. Maybe it hasn't been out for long enough. I don't know, but I'm not seeing that. So that's why I say. Um, is Crossfire better? Yeah, it's probably it's probably better. I would say it's a more refined product, um, but I think when people say it's better, I th I say it's more refined in all the extra features that you get, not necessarily the control link. Don't quote me on that because I can't I don't have experience on both of those, but that's where I say uh, the Crossfire is better because it's got more shit to offer you, not necessarily a stronger control link because the control link part is actually the real basis of where everything starts. You start with a solid control link. And if you didn't have a con solid control link, then you wouldn't be selling gear because people would be crashing their expensive stuff and losing it long range and people wouldn't be buying it. So but you guys remember, we're comparing, it to, we're comparing two different aircraft. You're talking about a quad, compact, yes. everything's together versus a wing that's big and flies farther, yep. way farther. And so we, we, ha we yep. are always within, not within, we have a clear line of sight. So the transmission's clear. There's not really rarely any obstacles in the way. So when we test but these long range really systems, we're putting them to the true long range capabilities and testing that. Well, there's, not, I mean, there's also the only in an urban environment where you as, find tight obstacles. As, as Martin said, it's, it's not how far away you fly that's the determining factor. It's the RF noise floor that you're flying around. And, and that's, that's actually, that's yeah. actually yeah. one I of totally the reasons why the, the, why the 900 megahertz systems also are better than like the older like 433 ones or 432 is because they have like, higher on a wing usually you're they fine right? stuff no not just that on a, like if you look at the noise spectrum that the gopro for example puts out there's yep. a lot of yep. noise in the 400 megahertz range and so if you put everything on a quad close together your gopro will basically swamp the receiver uh, yeah it's yep. fine because you put everything apart but on a small wing or a Quad like 433 never worked well on quads, in my experience. Yeah, there, there, there's, we did. There's so Seashell many small. That's all we would fly with. Yeah, but so many you don't fly with not that range though. 
I've never yeah. used 433 on a quad. So we did very oh, beginning. So way, I have way a question though. So um, was the the crossfire the first 900 like megahertz like control link? Yes, control link. Okay, so like um, in, in actually, the I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if it actually was. I heard stories that there was some kind of hack. hack system I never heard of it. I've been doing long range it, since yeah. 2010, and I haven't but, heard of anything but, else uh, like for the other than maybe video. As far as the commercials things is, yes, Crossfire was the first one to come out with it. Because I remember years before Crossfire was even out, I remember Anthony from Motion RC was talking, saying, oh, uh, Trappy keeps on talking about wanting to bring out a 900 megahertz system, and I'd never heard of that. So yeah. TBS was the first one, first ones to come out with a 900 megahertz system, and they also developed the whole Laura chip uh, uh, mm. set up for using that and sort of stuff. Yeah. So. They're the first of that. They can't lay claim that they now own the Laura chip chipset or 900 no. megahertz. They were but the they first. They were the innovators when they came out. Yeah. With it. yeah. Yeah. So I guess like yeah, I don't know. I, I in my opinion, like I just want to see something new coming out. I I'm sick of seeing the same like a little bit better or a little bit worse of the same fucking thing coming out. I I don't know. Like it's boring to me. This and, dragon. And, oh, like, dragon yeah, no, no, wait, yeah, no, I saw that in chat. So what do you think about yeah, dragon think Shelby? Because so I I'm run Dragon Link Wink now. Stuff. Yeah, it's so the Wing community. It's like I said, it's, we run we run long range, and, and we have a debate always about this topic, don't we? <laughs> Dragon yeah. Dragon Link to Dragon Crossfire. Link. What do you think? What is Dragon Link? <laughs> what is <laughs> Dragon Link? Is Dragon Link is long Dragon range. Link. Go look it up. That's the shit. That we Dragon like, Link has been running around forever. Yes. Problem with Dragon Link is Mike, the guy who who makes dragon link and makes all the receivers because he makes them by hand it's really fucking good they take forever to get out and okay. so when they come in stock so then they're, they're out within a day yeah. Yeah. yeah as soon as they go up they're out they're gone yeah, but they're good they're good it's reliable i love it i mean when i run my dragon link i don't even think about it i don't even think about it anymore and I don't know, Mallory. Do they make a micro receiver for the on? Uh, yeah, yes, they do coming. make. I believe they do make a micro receiver for Dragon Link, right? It's good shit. Yeah. And they're in the yeah. U.S. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they even they were guys. like they. I I wanted. Yeah, they were one of the first. They were. They were. They were, they were one of the first. Systems. Yep. It was yeah. Easy UHF and Dragon Link. Yeah. The two in the very beginning. Yep. And I want to say almost Easy UHF was might have been first. I don't know. Don't quote and me. Sharer, you know? The Sharer. Yeah, Sharer was out there. I think Sharer came out after. Uh, right after that. Because there was the three of them for a long time. Uh -oh, Dragon Link's one of the old school I mean, ones. Yeah, but the thing, yeah, I mean, you're, you're not going <laughs> to... The hurricane stuff. Yeah. Uh, still hurricane yeah. crap. It's fine for wing stuff. You're not going to use it on a quad, probably. I mean, I don't fly quads, so yeah. I don't know. I mean, I did yeah. I did uh, easy UHF on quads in the very beginning. It, as far Sean, as the I whole, did that with one three, and it worked for a while. I mean, but. as far as the whole uh, four thirty three on quads is a no go thing. That's been an interesting one for me because I've got one of the few uh, prototype ghost systems that Emergence RC came out, which runs on four thirty three. And I've still got that on quads, and I've been, I've been upwards. Uh, I, I think the furthest away that I've been with with a quad, and it's nothing like the wings are getting. But I think I've been like four miles away. Uh, that's great. With the quad, and um, and that's and that's been on. I think we're on like a two hundred milliwatts or something like that. Um, it can go all the way up to two watts. Um, but it's very interesting to look at that. So a lot of the development that went into that to make sure was to make sure that the um, the uh, receiver for uh, Ghost was a lot more uh, selective and allows it to be selective. <laughs> your music is loud. And your dog is loud. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> All right, so guys. Um, All right. the interesting thing is that uh, to, you can make 433 work in quads for long range uh, because of the way that they can be a bit more selective. But they can't be as selective as, say, 900. Whose music is that? <laughs> Who do you think? It's Shelby's. I'm going to kick him in the dick right now. <laughs> Only if you can catch me. <laughs> well, that's normal. You can't. You're always oh, that. Fuck in the you. <laughs> Look, I'll say this regarding the whole TBS thing. Like, yeah, I'm let's bring it back to the TBS. Yeah, I'm way too <laughs> invested, A, to get, to get away from it. And B, like I, it's just a better. It is a better link. I know Chad said he's not seeing these these uh, R nine ones fall out of the sky, but I, like I am, I'm hearing quite a bit 
about people having major issues with it, which is what I think Jennifer was referring to as it being buggy. And the fact is, is I'm not going to spend, you know, a few weeks building a nice big I have an easy lever, wing Patrick. and put That's some right. bullshit buggy receiver in it. I'm, I'm just not. Um, I mean, no I mean for me, it's different though, because so Where'd Mallory at, go? I'm, I'm peeing. Back in the day, you know, like That's a week running an LRS, yeah, you're, talking hey, about, you so. you're talking about doing like Hold on, he can't concentrate. long range and setting stuff up. Like you're a little bit. You're gonna set it up for longer than a week. Did you get your prostate checked, dude? That was a short I'm piss. Say that again, Mallory. Be. Do it. Do it. Do it. Be. Be. I just, I just remember like using stuff in back in the day, and like it took us way longer to set it up than a week to make it usable. It's uh, okay. it's the usual thing, and there there is there is no wrong or right. Like Shane, you're saying that you don't trust the R9, and you trust Crossfire, and that works for you. That's great. That doesn't make it wrong or right. It's great. the same thing as me saying that I will never I will never put a Spectrum receiver in a quad ever again after the years of problems <laughs> that I had with them. All right, hold Yet on. It's gonna get real here in a minute. There, no, there are plenty of people out there that will that that will tell me I'm completely wrong because they've flown Spectrum for years and never had. Well, we're gonna get a lot of people in here. They'll, they'll they'll chime in. I'm afraid of Spectrum. No, I am I'm afraid of Spectrum because of what everyone said. Yeah, my first FPV crash was actually because of Spectrum. I flew and it was fail safe, right. and it turned upside down, and like. Fell down. We're gonna invite a whole bunch of people. Okay, we're gonna get a lot of people my coming in here. My first fail with was with oh, FRC. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Mallory that said that? Because he knows. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we've been on an. Oh, hour. we're talking about You're long right. range. You're yeah. all right. Can you bring her in? Keep going. All right, everyone in the chat. Um, should we keep going? Or about yeah. we're at about an hour. That's where we uh, we're talking about cap. Yeah. No, keep yeah. going. People I mean, are coming. We have TBRC. Up Thirty people. Hey TBRC, what's your opinion of uh, right wing? Oh, what? DBRC is in the chat. Oh, in the chat. Oh, Pat says Spectrum killed his family. I don't believe him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've met his family, and they're very well alive. No, it's not his family. That's oh, not okay. his family. That's the adopted family. Mm. That's okay. I have a rental, too. What does TBRC wings make? Like, they make wings. Uh, wings. They make wings. I fuck they you guys. Wings. They make, they make <laughs> black wings. They uh, make which that one? reflex is like the original. The one I never flew. It. The one that Stan says. You the that you one. that you oh actually Anthony built it for me. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you haven't flown it? That's just yeah, it's like old school. <laughs> Sacrilege. Um, I know. He's I know. scared I, to crash it. No, I just or he's I have scared to that I'll crash it. it for him. There you go, like, Jennifer. TBLC TBLC answered your question. TBLC <laughs> wings said their their answer is Thanks, wings. bitch. Thanks, bitch. That's great. Thanks, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Is it Anthony or is it uh, what's the other guy? We'll never um, know. Anthony, um, David. 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 Witten? No. Yeah, yes. David. Witten. Yes. So they think they they enjoy the right wing wings. Um, boogity boogity. The oh, drag exactly. or the mini drag. The problem is once you go TBRC, you never go back. Uh oh. They're black. So. What? What the fuck are you Sorry. talking about? <laughs> I'm coming up like a herpy. I keep Shelby. coming back, goddammit. Shelby's never gone TBRC. I can't. I, was, I used to fly TBRC. TBRC. <laughs> TBRC was my original wing sponsor. And, and then what happened? And then? And then? I have a very then good... I, I, within the race season, the race came, the races started, and I saw how the reflex that I was flying for Anthony was compared against the competition, and I just said... For me to be a competitor and race, I have to have a better frame. Period. Has it? Has it's it? personal. Has the and then, air and then I and I <laughs> then right wing hit me up and I took uh, Chris Click's offer and I you know proofs in the pudding as they say in the videos. Um, you know, right wing's Shelby, the shit. Shelby, do you also take You're stock in uh, weight companies? So what's that? You also take stock in uh, lead, lead weight. Yeah, not anymore because we bitched at him long enough, so he doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> hey, he punches holes in the back of him. I mean, yeah, I, but still, I have, you know what? It crosses the finish line. Hey, I have always in the front in my, in my vast spec wing. So, yeah. I, here's my thing. I don't give a shit if you have to put weight in it. I mean, I, I don't care about I wouldn't. weight. I care how it performs, and if it's winning, I don't care about weight. On you can the, put a fucking wings. tampon box on the front. I wouldn't care. 
<laughs> My God, I love I love listening to Wing Guys, bitch. So See? wait, there you go. There's your drama. Show me, wait. Though. You'll get it all the time. You're gonna hear it. They're gonna they're gonna pitch. The bitch drama, 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 That's where it started. Bitch, bitch, oh, here bitch, you go. Drama, yeah, yeah. Drama, yeah. Drama, yeah. Drama, balls, 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 alert, balls. Hey, question. So what do you think, show me about the about the the TBRC wing compared to the the spec? The oh, spec, oh, right. any other spec wings? Spec what? The spec right. I mean, I can't. I haven't been able to keep up with the TB the TBRC wings. Like TBRC is still a great wing. And the way it's, TBRC reflex is like a Mustang. If you put the right motor on it, it's it's just it just performs like that. This is uh, the way it is. Spec motor, not on right a reflex. Just, on a reflex. No, no, no. no. the TBRC. spec wing. Oh, the, all the spec wing differences. Yes. Uh, the right wings better. Hands uh, down, hands down. It is. It is. It flies better. If it Plus, qualifies. it holds. It holds the line better. It, it's way better. Yeah, and it's past inspection. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, Eat it. There's uh, more coming. Uh, listen, yep, wait, yep. Mark Ashton yeah, approved it. So it's got the yeah, stickers. So there you go. Even more. It's a different wing. Is this uh, no, it's not. So what? Not here's good. how it is. No, wings wait, have to be. Wings there, have to be. I remember you. Freaking right. out about no, hold on. Wings, not being in spec. Wings, wings have to, this they have a parameter in which to fall in. Yeah. Right, the spec class, I'm telling Chad. Now. So the wings have to be cut. Nice, Luis. Ice cream making me hungry. And it, balls. Shreddy balls. Shreddy ball alerts. Shreddy balls. Shreddy ball. the, long, the long story is no, each, each company cuts them differently, but the they have tongue. to be within a tolerance. I want to see the entire tongue covered in that shit. Well, if it makes you feel better. No. My wings have all the Elvons trimmed, and I really don't think that's supposed to be that way. And they've let it go every time. <laughs> it's 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 a fiasco. I mean, there's lot there's drama. I mean, there's drama shit all, all over that right now. This is, this there's is like such a I have eight sitting around. I think every <laughs> single one of them have the trimmed trimmed Elvons, and no one's ever said anything about it yet. So, <laughs> Chad. Yeah. Oh yeah, he took it off. Yes. Are those your? Uh, You're in your underwear. Can I, I never had them on. Do you have dinosaurs on your underwear? Can we stop and sing to the song? Yeah. Want to see the song? Yeah, Shelby, what, what are you playing? Hey, what's with the F3 drama building a maxi pat wing? Or hey, we're trying to. See oh yeah, we were. Yeah. <laughs> what's up with the maxi? So here's how, here's how this here's how the story here's how the story goes. Oh yeah. Kevin has it. He went to go get it. Yeah, Kevin. So here's how it. here's how the story so here's how this all began. Alex and I were has this have this long like rivalry. But the long story short was I said, Alex, I'll beat you. Even I can you can make a if you can make a tampon box fly, I will still kick your ass in a race. And he goes, All right, let's do it. And there you go. And there, whoever has it has the actual first ever. Made to a speck of a tampon box wing to fly Maxi and race. Pad. <clears throat> maxi pad, the maxi pad, a flying pad. I money on it. I paid for money to someone. Yeah. Why do you guys name that after like vagina blood? Like that's just fucking weird to me. Like that's. I, I mean, it, it's like out of all of the things to name, like, name your fucking wing after. No, no, no. It's a stupid. That's cool. Yeah, it's a stupid uh, joke that we were screwing around with, and we had fun with it, and there you go. Wait, are it's you the, the flying one tampon wing? That Alex like posted about which yeah. one? No, yeah, uh, was he mad at? Wasn't he mad at Shelby? No, no, oh, he's mad at me. He's been mad at Jeremiah or something. Jeremiah. He's not mad at me. It's Jer Jeremiah. Hey. Yeah, I don't know. I go to Alex's a lot, so if you yeah. mad at me, I'd be you like, know, "What?" Real quick, we I don't need to go into that. that. They want me to ask why there was a raffle in the right wing group. Like, what was that all about? They raff Hugo raffled off a, uh, a wing. I Velocity yeah. forty eight. Yep, and donated uh, the money to Chris. Where is Hugo? And I don't know. Actually, so that part I don't know. Like, actually, a friend oh, of yeah. us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, somebody, a, local, uh, a yeah, local Max. pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Won the what? The Velocity? He won the raffle. The 48, I think. Hugo's the raffle. Yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. wing. That's yeah. my wing. He won yeah. it. He's a cool guy. He came um, to I love that wing. I feel like it. It flies awesome. Yeah, he has like a million right wings. That's He just got married, too. Yeah, he just got married. Yeah, it's a good wing. I guess so they want to love know it. what the reason for the raffle favorite. is. Why do they have a name? What's the reason? Off and give the owner I don't, the company the money. I have no idea uh, as far as I, what goes on with Chris Click. And even if I did, being honest with you, I don't. I wouldn't share it anyways because that kind of shit I'm not going to ever divulge. 
And when it comes to my sponsors and their stuff and private stuff that they, they, they discuss with me, that's just always off They're the table. Us, Maybe it's just Hugo. Right had on, man. Maybe what? his wife found out and he had to that, get rid of that. That was like the worst. Te- that was like anticlimactic. You know? I didn't know we were supposed to climax. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's sad. I'm sorry. That's Shelby's line. Anywho. That's what she said. <laughs> that's what I said. I didn't know we were supposed to climax. <laughs> I thought it was just, just a chore. No, aren't we done? Anywho. I got shit to do. I got to vacuum the goddamn floors. Balls. I need to get to the live chat. Um, so, so, Chad Nowak, how do you feel about um, Drew being the new president of Rotor Riot? Don't get him started. <laughs> oh, God. No, you don't get to bring this up again because last week. I didn't bring it up. I have never brought it up. I should have been here last week. When you were out drinking instead of here. Uh, I was. Uh, it was my anniversary. It was, oh, yeah, it was our anniversary. Uh, bring Mark yeah. along. Why be out I drinking am, when you could be I in? Am very, I am very. I am very. Here you go. Here's, here's my answer. I'm very happy for Drew. I think he fits that role perfectly <laughs> and he'll do really well. Is that like role play? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Okay. I found this wing the other day next to a Walmart. <sighs> Which one did you find? Is that a fucking Kuiperinia? Huh? Um, found it? <laughs> I love the Cappy, man. The Cappy's great. Is oh, that a flinch? Yeah. You just like it. found it at yeah, a dumpster like was, at Walmart. It was next to a Walmart in Pembroke Pines. It, what? <laughs> you so seriously was just sitting there? Yeah. Fucking A. That's not normal. No, that's, <laughs> that's no, awesome for I us if we stumble across it. Right I'm on my that's way weird. to the carreta right now. I'm on my way to now have dessert. <laughs> You just had dessert, <laughs> Daddy. You just fucking yeah, eating fucking ice cream. Eat. Wait, wait, what are you what, doing? Like, seriously? What the fuck? How d- are you? <laughs> was that just for our visual pleasure <laughs> to watch you lick ice cream? And now we're going to dessert. Dirty bastard. Dessert? What are you? How do you call that? I mean, after you're done eating, then you have a coffee to bring everything down. That's what I'm going for. What are you doing? Lewis is my hero. What do you think? Lewis had an appetizer yeah. dessert, and then now he's gonna have dessert. Lewis, where do you live? Yeah, he's always eating it. Since yeah, time. can we hang out with you? He posts can his we... pictures of my like breakfast, hey. and he's like, it's like $2. Well, but it's crazy amount. <laughs> I'm going to Boston in November. You're coming to, oh no, we don't live in Boston anymore. We live in Portland. We live in Oregon now. Dude, you know it gets cold Oregon? there in November, right? Like, to... in Oregon? It doesn't get cold here. It's fucking November. We can't hear you, bro. You're still fucking eating? Still- You're still fucking eating? Uh, yeah, I'm still eating, goddammit. I'm waiting for the light to change. How do you get that shit out of your braces? <laughs> I own a dental office, goddammit. Motherfucker. What? Wait. You drive as slow as you fly, brother. bro. <laughs> get to where you're going. I want to see what kind of whack-ass dessert you're going to eat now. Oh, bro, Lord knows your dinner was god-fucking-awful. He's going to get some pastelitos now. He's heading to, to a La Carreta. So. What does pastel. that mean? Yeah, that what the fuck does gonna, that mean? He's going to get some Cuban pastries. Oh, my oh, God. Nice. I fucking uh, hate you guys. Yeah, you have That's to go to Miami. Miami. <laughs> is that Ooh, like the Portland. sweet bread stuff? I don't know. Uh, the different ones. Like, like, guava filled pastries and the cheese. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Well, you guys All right. in the, in the I mean, I don't speak English, but. Mr. Shane, uh, the the keeper of ceremonies, do you think we should uh, kick it here? Yeah, I would say so. We're over an hour already. We, we, and, we've, and had a, we've had our time. And, on, so. Yeah, so I think what we need to do is uh, each other's uh, keep sweaty balls. That's what we need to do. Week. Yes, we, we can talk, yeah, we yes, can talk yes, more sweaty balls. Sweaty balls. That's what we should sweaty do. Balls. Sweaty balls next week. Yeah, sweaty, sweaty balls. I might be live from a dumpster if the rain goes away. Dude, I kind of want to go to that dumpster too. If we can buy fucking. I'm serious. We we already have a plan. We already have a plan. We got we got lights to stick up in it, but it's raining right now. So I'm gonna get in the dumpster. I'm gonna put all these lights up. I'm gonna just gonna. gonna Why are there no likes? Do it. Because we suck. Nobody likes what we're doing. I liked it. Every time. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. I fucking liked it. All right. Oh, no man. one cares, Shelby. Right. Shut up. I don't. See you next week. So fuck them. Oh, we got four right, guys. So, so can can we just like hey, uh, ask hey, 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 h
Mm-hmm. I can make drama. I can make fucking <laughs> drama out of anything. I All right, so you, got, you find the tough challenge. <laughs> accepted. It's all, not a challenge that... for me. Okay. Yeah, Mallory, get it quick. Go yeah. create drama, Mallory. I get fucking blocked by everybody. You can go eat some meat. <laughs> yeah, we have to get some meat. Who's having sex? Mouth. Someone's having sex. I w- what? Uh, that would I be mean... amazing. <laughs> Like Some, we all wish I wish I was sitting here having, having, having sex and right now. all of the things, but no, Jeez. I'm sitting here with you fucking okay. hey, Martin. Martin, yeah. you've got a job when we go off air. You've got your you got right. a job, your challenge. Uh, go uh, do there... your reading as a loving this... partner. I already gave our dog a bone earlier. Does <laughs> 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 <And> everybody <laughs> die? He did a job. <laughs> Okay. So funny. Okay. <laughs> all right. On that note. What's okay? Look. Hey. To uh, to all the the uh, the twelve odd people that have been listening to us, thank you very much for listening to us as we ramble along. I'm sure we will be here next week. So if you guys can come up with ideas yep, for yep. drama, to mute me, God damn it. talk about, we'll be happy to talk about it, and uh, we'll continue on it. And uh, in the great world, the yeah, I'm still here. God damn it. Powerful Shelby. You can't idea fucking mute me. Idea. I have a hard time. In, try. Balls. In the words of the great, all powerful Shelby. Hey, you can't, Drew. You will not be able to. Fu-